Hello friends, welcome to Action Script video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand operators in Action Script. In the previous video tutorials, we have already discussed logical operators, arithmetic operators, and relational operators. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss conditional operator in Action Script. Question mark colon indicates conditional operator in Action Script. Conditional operator is the only ternary operator in Action Script. We know that ternary operators accept three operands. As conditional operator is a ternary operator, it also accepts three operands. Operand 1, Operand 2, Operand 3. You can see in pair of parentheses we have written Operand 1. Operand 1 should be a condition, should evaluate to true or false. Remember this, the part between the question mark and colon is considered as true part. The part between colon and semicolon is considered as the false part. Operand 2 can be a value, Operand 3 can be a value. If the given condition results to true, the true part will be evaluated. If the given condition results to false, then the false part will be evaluated. You can see I have here an example code to understand the conditional operator. I have one variable called as num in that I am putting 10 inside it. Then we have var result string. So we have one more variable called as result. It is of type string. Then we have equal to, we have conditional operator here, question mark colon. In pair of parentheses, we have a condition num mod 2 equal to equal to 0. Num is 10, so 10 mod 2 evaluates to 0. 0 equal to 0 is true. As the given condition is resulting to true, the true part will be evaluated. Even string will be assigned to the result variable. Then what happens? The trace statement will get executed. It displays num that is 10 is result is having the value even then number num is 10 so 10 is even number will be displayed on the screen let's have a demonstration and understand clearly i go to flash you can see that i have already launched the adobe flash ide i click on action script 3.0 to create a new action script file i go to timeline click on first frame go to window click on actions you can see that we got the actions window. Here I say trace in double quotations. I say conditional operator demo double quotations back at close semicolon. If I hit control enter to test the movie in the output window, you see that conditional operator demo is displayed. Now I create a variable called as num. It is of type integer and I put the value 10 inside it. Then I create one more variable called as result which is going to be of type string. Then I have equal to in brackets I say num mod 2 is equal to equal to 0. So here we have a condition. Then question mark in double quotations I write e1 this is going to be a true part colon odd this is going to be a false part semicolon then i say trace at present i just display the result value of result what happens here num is going to have 10 then this statement will get executed as there is a equal to sign the right hand side part will be executed first num is having 10 10 mod 2 will be evaluated first inner parenthesis will be evaluated first so 10 mod 2 is 0 so this part is going to be replaced by 0. 0 equal to 0 will be checked. Yes, that is true. As the condition results to true, the true part will be executed. String even will be stored in the result, will be assigned to the result variable. The trace function displays even on the screen. If I hit control enter, in the output window, you see even displayed. We can give more information to the user by saying num variable comma is comma result comma space number double quotation i need not write space here if i hit control enter now you see 10 
is even number displayed num is 10 result is even right hope you guys have clearly understood if i replace this value with uh, 5 let's take now the num has 5 this statement will get executed as there is a equal to sign the right hand side part will get executed first the inner parenthesis will get executed 5 mod 2 is 1 1 is equal to equal to 0 is false as the condition results to false the false part will be evaluated string odd will be assigned to the result now what happens the trace function displays 5 is odd number on the screen if i hit control enter you can see that 5 is odd number displayed in the output window that is how we use the conditional operator friends i hope you guys have clearly understood we can try any number if i say 9 hit control enter you see 9 is odd number displayed there i can try something else if i say 20 hit control enter you see 20 is even number displayed there we have written a program to find the given number is even or odd right just by using three lines of code let's go to word note conditional operator is kind of shorthand notation for if else statement conditional operator is used in place of if else statement in many cases here i am discussing the relationship between conditional operator and if else statement if else statement is a conditional statement in action script there are different types of conditional statements we have i discuss about them later okay i have some example code we can achieve the same result using the if else statement also we can write a program to find the given number is even or odd by using the if else statement also this is how we write the code were num equal to 10 were result is a string if num or 2 equal to equal to 0 here we have a condition this condition this condition we are writing after the if keyword then this block is considered as a true part for this if statement this block is considered as a false part for this if statement if the true part executes false part will not get executed if the false part get executed true part will not get executed remember that as num is having 10 10 mod 2 is 0 0 equal to 0 is true as it is resulting to true the true part will be executed even will be stored in the result and then directly the trace statement will get executed it displays 10 is even number on the screen if it is 5 5 mod 2 is 1 1 equal to 0 is false as this condition results to false the false part will be executed odd is stored in the result then 5 is odd number will be displayed let's have a demonstration now i am going to comment this code for a slash star and then i say here star for a slash if i hit control enter you only see conditional operator demo displayed here i write this statement i am going to copy and paste down then i copy this variable paste down semicolon if we want we can assign empty string there is no problem then i am going to write an equivalent if else statement for this code here we write if if condition then this part is considered as the true part right so i am going to put that in opening floor bracket here i say result result is equal to even semicolon then this part is considered as the false part right so we write here else opening floor bracket closing floor bracket here i say result equal to odd quite simple code you can see that and at the end we are going to display trace statement what happens here num has now let's take i say 10 result is empty if statement will get executed 10 mod 2 is 0 0 equal to 0 is true as this condition results to true true part will be executed even will be stored in the result as we know that if true part executes false part will not be executed directly control goes to this line and displays 10 is even number on the screen if i hit control enter you see 10 is even number displayed there right if i change this to 5 
Now the num has 5. 5 mod 2 is 1. 1 equal to 0 is false. As this condition results to false, the false part will be executed. Odd will be stored in the result. Then the trace statement will get executed. 5 is odd number will be displayed. If I hit control enter, you see there 5 is odd number displayed. You can see that we are achieving the same result using the if else statement also. We have written a program to find the given number is even or odd using the if else statement also. One of the difference you can observe that here we are using total 11 number of lines to find the given number is odd or even. Whereas here we are using only 3 lines of code to find the given number is even or odd. Most of the time as I told in place of if else statement the conditional operator is used. Conditional operator is more faster also. I suggest you people to use conditional operator in place of if else statement whenever possible. Hope you guys have clearly understood how to use the conditional operator, how to convert an if else statement to a conditional statement, right? And I hope you understood the relationship between conditional operator and the if else statement. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand clearly. In the next video tutorial, we get more information on operators in ActionScript. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.